Drake. You know that name. You heard of him. Big star, superstar, six guys, six flags. Drake. Drake? Anyways, if you guys haven't heard, Clay slash Split Mind got one on Certified Level <laughs> Drake. That's a big, big, big thing. But anyway, so what does this have to do with the video? So if you guys haven't heard, we dropped a fucking banger on fire 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 emoji fire emoji fire emoji fire emoji okay so what about drake listen one of drake's best album slash whatever mistake is if you're reading this is too late and oh my god bro when that album dropped or whatever you want to call it mixtape album i'm calling it album when it dropped it was so unexpected but it changed the sound like especially with uh, Boy Wonder's production, Boy Wonder, Seven Thomas, Frank Dukes, Q Beats, all that. So that is what I'm gonna be showing you today. I'm gonna be breaking down to you one sample I made that is inspired by, if you're reading this, it's too late, more into like the Q Beats, Frank Dukes, all that. So let's get straight into it. All right, so this is the sample right here. Alright, that is spooky, spooky, scary. Oh my god, I'm so scared. We're gonna start off with the bell. This right here. Hold on, let me take everything off. So first off, shout out to Clay for sending me this MIDI. Uh, Clay, if you're watching this, you know you, you, you're a fine motherfucker. This is the OG bell without any effects. So I use um labs. This is from our bank that uh, me and Clay have been working on. Um, hysteria so this is the winter preset with the effects one thing i did was i made it mono because um if we're trying to get like a vintage sound um most of the time they didn't have stereo um everything was recorded in mono so that's what i did um that's why I, you see this is like uh purple and i put some effects to it you know make it sound more vintage like um first thing i did was compress make it sound like that then i add rc mess around with that eq'd it mid side matrix effect racked give it that crunch i just used the uh, the devil lock and then one more was the reaver bam but the next thing is the bass, and this is also from our bank. Um, just a typical bass, but with a reverse. Only use one effect, and that was the guitar rig, as you can see. So without it, it but with it, it, it makes it sound more clean. The next thing I, uh, I did was use the strings. This is also all of the... Uh, the sounds is from our bank that uh, me and Claire are working on. Um, this is everything that we use. Uh, so if I play it. Sound like a vintage string. So what I did was I only use RC just to make it sound more vintage and mess with the the cuts. So I use a preset from uh, Al Hug. Vintage wobble distortion little little digi digital made the width low like make it merge and mess with that so without the the effect sounds boring but with it yeah you sound like like Beethoven for real there's two more sounds I use one of them is the cymbals just to make it sound like it's an orchestra, make it sound like, um, I don't know, it just gives it that that bounce. And then the last thing I used was this flute. There's another one from uh, our bank. And we just think I only used, if I can see it, I pan it to the left, uh, mono it a little bit, RC, pancake, 
and an EQ just to EQ some of the uh some of the mids. Not not much. But yeah, that's pretty much it for um the individual processing. But for the master processing, I did a lot. Um as you can see right here, I have a sketch cassette. I use the default uh setting, give it a hiss, give it a saturation, all that stuff type and made it cheap. Wow uh wow flutter. And then I use another I use RC. This is this is basically sketch cassette, but way better. Uh I don't know why I did that. Um and then I pitched it down. I love using sound picture just to give me new ideas. Um and then you have the EQ and that's pretty much it. So without it, it's just you know, it's it sounds good, but when I when you give it that process, it gives that it gives it that vintage sound. And that's what I was trying to go for, that um know yourself type Q beats type sound. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something for the video. If you guys want to know more, learn more around the style or just have any other questions, uh, just let me know. Comment down below what you, what you guys learned. Um, I'm out.